The 5 Solo Ad Secrets That Can Kill Your List Marketing Business There are 5 secrets in the solo ad industry that insiders do not want you to know. You are the outsider looking in, and unfortunately, if you just jump in with both feet, you would probably get killed. This is the reason why a lot of people are convinced that solo ads as a whole is essentially just a giant scam. I won't go that far. Solo ads can and do work. However, you need to be aware of the following five secrets that I'll share with you. Otherwise, you are probably going to get burned. Secret number one. The most popular solo ad niches are very saturated. When people talk about solo ads and how awesome the results are, they're usually referring to a certain range of niches. These are actually very saturated. It seems that there are a lot of people selling ads in those niches. It's too easy to assume that just because somebody had a great experience from some random list, you can replicate that person's success. That person might just be blowing hot air, or that person may know that he or she is doing and advertising on a specialized list within that niche. You really don't know what's going on. Still, be mindful of the fact that a lot of this hype tends to revolve around very saturated niches. This should be a red flag. Secret number two. Many solo ad sellers target professional list members. There are many professional list solo ad sellers. These are people who make a living selling solo ad spots. They don't make their living actually selling to their list. It should be obvious that their interest is completely opposite of yours. It's a 180 degree difference. Their job is to get you to advertise to their list, so they try to excite you and get you pumped up with their huge list numbers. Well, it turns out that in many cases, these numbers are made up of people who have no interest in buying anything. These are list squatters who simply got on the list because they're looking for some sort of free books, free software, or some sort of premium. Secret number three. The solo ad industry can be incestuous and cover up for each other. There are many instances where scammers have given the solo ad industry a black eye. However, instead of cleaning up its act, many otherwise legit solo ad sellers try to play the victim or pretend that the scammers are very few and far between. This ends up protecting shady players, and a lot of newbie solo ad advertisers like yourself end up getting burned. Know this going in that it's going to be very hard to get solo ad sellers to give you the real deal as far as who is legit and who is shady. Secret number four. No solo ad sellers throttle their traffic. Another problem with solo ads that you need to be aware of before you spend a penny on is this type of traffic is in fact solo ad sellers selling clicks. They don't sell ad placements. They will tell you that they will run your ad, but if your ad gets enough clicks, they would redirect those clicks to go somewhere else. In other words, you are paying too much money because you are paying for clicks. For the longest time, the average per click rate was 25 cents. You can get a better deal on Facebook, to be honest. Don't get confused. A lot of Virgin Solo ad advertisers think they are paying for placement. They are not. They are paying per click. Secret number five, there is no reinforced rule on oversaturation. A lot of solo ad sellers would like to give you the impression that they please each other and that there is some sort of community standards. Don't believe it. It's just an appearance. In reality, solo ad sellers are pretty much on their own when it comes to how often they send updates to their mailing list. If you are unlucky enough to advertise with solo ad sellers that blast ads to their list every single day, you can bet that such list is not very responsive. You can get clicks, but believe me, those clicks are not going to turn into dollars. Those people have been desensitized by so many ads. Keep the five solo ad secrets above in mind. They will spell the difference between you making money off solo ads or losing your shirt.